and welcome to The Zip for Friday the 5th of July, and a shout out to everyone who has to work today, like us. And a shout out to my brother, whose birthday it is, and I forgot to get a gift for it. Who's on the lodge with it? We on the lodge with it. The top story last weekend was about a group of badasses and Dodge Charger Hellcats who shut down a major freeway to spin donuts. The whole thing was recorded by one very excited young woman who, in the process, gave us the catchphrase of summer. We on, we on the lodge with it! We on the lodge with it! In their honor, we'll be sorting this newscast by who or what is or isn't on the lodge with it. On the lodge with it. Justin Amash, who used the holiday to declare his own independence from the Republican Party. Amash read the Mueller report and didn't like what he saw there. And since everyone else in the party seems to be blind, Amash decided he had to go. He'll be running as an independent in 2020, and he is definitely on the lodge. Meanwhile, Donald Trump tweeted at him, one of the dumbest and most disloyal men in Congress, a total loser. And really, who talks like that? Hola, Donald Trump, you racist Racist to have young kids using that kind of language is a disgrace. Mmm, that kind of language. Hey, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. <laughs> I can do anything. Donald Trump can't come donut spinning with us. In the Off the Lodge column, former Governor Rick Snyder. He was offered a teaching fellowship at none other than Harvard University this week. And this was after his alma mater in Ann Arbor took a pass, by the way. But to the amazement of no one except the geniuses at Harvard, some objected enough that the offer was, shall we say, reconsidered. In making the announcement, Snyder said people's lack of civility would make his presence there too disruptive. Off the Lodge with you, Rick Snyder. Next is Sri Tanadar, who's moving to the city because he wants to potentially run for mayor. Not sure if he's on or off the lodge. Hmm. Okay, our ruling, Sri Tanadar is on the lodge, but off the damn planet. Hi, I'm Sri Tanidar, running for governor. Free Darth Vader? No, Sri Tanidar. A Detroit rapper has bowed out of the Afro Future Fest in August in a disagreement over the ticket pricing. People of color pay 10 bucks, white people have to pay 20. The rapper Tiny Jag is biracial. Not sure what the price would be for her, maybe 15? But she said she wouldn't want her white grandma to have to pay 20, so she's out. Out of the Afro Future Fest, and according to my white colleagues, on the lodge for taking a principled stand. But this woke white girl says she is off the lodge. There are two tiers in life, and until systemic racism is addressed, whites should probably pay more for everything. And in sports, we wish the Tigers would just stay on the lodge and not even bother getting off to play at Comerica Park. The 28-54 and 54 team hosts the Boston Red Sox this weekend. Some of the best players on that team are former Tigers, like J.D. Martinez and David Price. And the good news so far, the Detroit Lions remain undefeated in the 2019 season. So as far as we're concerned, they are on the lodge. Hope your weekend is good, whether you're on or off the lodge with it. Just kidding. The good times are reserved only for people who are on the lodge.